Hello everybody, Alex Elliott here, and today we are talking short game. This comes from a lesson of mine. I had Pete the other day, had massive anxiety over chipping. We couldn't get that feeling of strike, had the duffs, had the knives, even had those double hits. We all don't want to see this in our short game. You have to use this tea trick. I guarantee you, it sorted him out. Let's sort you out. Let's start off by just showing you the situation. Tight lie, so really hard to get that contact. It's not like nice and teed up like you would have in the semi. And we've got quite a bit of green to work into. So that strike is really, really important. Now, there's a few ways we can actually play this shot. We can go 50-50. So what I mean by that is 50% in the air, 50% rollout. We could have 75% in the air, 25% rollout. So we have a higher trajectory. Or we could go with the 25% in the air, 75% rollout roll out. Now, I'm more of a player that prefers that 50-50 shot. Halfway in the air, half roll out. And do just go to your local chipping green at your golf club and just test out what variation works best for your game because you have to find out. It's important. You have to know what you do to perform. But we're going to today talk about how we can get out of this duff shot, how we can start to really strike this golf ball and get confident enough to throw it 50-50 with a little bit of stop and get that strike. It's important. So let's get straight to it. Now, what I want you to do is, is a couple of stages to this drill. The first stage is to grab a tee peg and put it on the ground. It's like going to my bag of crisps. Nice bag of tee pegs, can't have enough of them. Okay, so what I want you to do is we're going to place three tee pegs in a row on the ground, all pointing with a pointy end to where you're going to address. Now, the idea of this drill is, is to understand how we can get the bounce brushing the ground just like I'm doing there and not get the lead and edge digging whilst putting some speed into the shot. If you think when we're trying to chip, there's a few things we're trying to control. Well, angle of attack, the club head speed, the loft of the golf club, and the, where the golf club head is pointing, okay? We can control these factors. We can actually start to really become a very, very good chipper. Now, we've spoken about short game setup before, so we'll briefly run over this. I like golfers to be a little bit closer to it with a slightly steeper shaft angle, lower half open, and ball towards just the back edge of the stance. So what I'm aiming for you to do here is, is hit these three tee pegs away, just like so. Hit it away. Get the tee peg going up into the air a little bit. Get the feeling of hearing that noise. This is very much a noise orientated drill. We're looking for the cha on the ground. We're also looking to hear bit of the tee peg. So the first two were definitely better than the last one. Now you might be thinking, Alex, what, what the heck has that got to do with, with this? Well, if you think, if you look at the end of a tee peg right now, right? Look at the end of a tee peg. You've got to be so precise, hitting down with some good loft, to get this tee peg to project into the air. If you can be precise to a pin, a golf ball becomes so much easier. Okay, so I want you to hit those three away. Short of your green, if you're actually out on the golf course and you're watching this and you've got those chipping woes, just put the tee pegs by the side of the green and give you a reminder. Obviously, not in a comp, we can't do that. But now, let's do it with a ball. So come over here, come to the face on perspective. I'm gonna place this tee peg down just in front of my golf ball now. I actually had a, a client, Pete, he came down and he was really struggling with those chipping woes. It was, mm, I can't hit it, I felt very stiff, very rigid. I literally used this same process of going through these tee pegs and getting this result. So now all I want you to have is the objective of hitting through the ball and all I want you to think about is getting that tee peg up into the sky with that bit of a click and that bit of a a cha on the ground. So remind yourself, this is the noise we're looking for, not this noise. It's a bit more of a cleaner, crisper click. So place the tee peg just in front of your golf ball, address it, and all I want you to do is simply think of hitting that tee peg away. If 
So how nice was that contact? How nice was that strike? It's exactly what we've all been looking for. Okay, so let's just experiment with this into more of a high tariff shot. So come with me this way, we'll collect these T-Pegs. And we just want to talk a little bit about what we've got to set it up like on the ground. So we'll head up to the screen, so if you come over here with me. And by the way, I hope you have an all a great weekend everybody, because look at this sun, it's so nice. So here we go, the second shot that I played. Okay, so let's put us in a perspective now of where we've got to get a little bit more height. So imagine we're trying to carry it over a bunker. If we go just over here, we'll go just off the fringe. Now we've not got a bunker in play on this hole, but we can imagine we've got to get it up quite quickly. We've got one ball here. We're going to place the three tee pegs down the ground like we did last time. And then one just in front of our ball. And what we're looking for again is that ability with a more lofted club to set up, soften the face, so make sure we're exposing the bounce. Really nice noise, tee peg forwards. Again, really nice noise. You'll notice we had all that cha and that little bit of a, a wooden click, exactly what we're after. Now with the ball, this will be our higher version on a shorter shot. Let's hit this one away. Have a look at that one. All I was thinking about is my external focus of, well, I've done it with a T-Peg. I've done it now three times with a T-Peg. I can do it with the golf ball. Put your focus on hearing the cha and the wooden sound of the T-Peg rather than anxiety of hitting down towards a ball and trying to lift it into the air. It makes a real difference to your short game. I really hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this T-Trick. I think it will really, really help you improve.